about what happened? They were down in uh, Nathan Phillips Square in Toronto, Ontario, Canada today, and it's uh, Monday, May 28th. It's the launch of Bike Week here in Toronto. And we've got these beautiful shirts here about biking to work. And I'm Scott Mills, the Toronto School Officer for Crime Stoppers. And we're very interested in uh, preventing bicycle thefts. So we've got some uh, interesting people here today who've been down here all day at this event. And, uh, sir, can you tell us what you were doing at the event down here today? We were doing a little uh, BMX demo. We put up some ramps live from our uh, <laughs> Toronto International Jam at the bike show in March. And uh, we were hoping some BMXers would show up and show us how to do some tricks on these ramps. Did uh, any BMX kids show up to do some tricks on it? Well, we had hundreds, of, but I might lie. So, yes, we had one. Yeah. Come on, you guys, you got to get out of bed. It's Monday morning. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Michael, yes, sir. I, we know each other. The bottom line is, those bike ramps that you're talking about, who built them? Uh, there was uh, Jeremy Karsh built most of them. Those ones that were out there today were my, built by myself. And uh, those would be the... Jim, Jeremy was the number one builder of all the ramps. And I helped out with a few of them, and I'll be building from now on in. So thanks to Jeremy, I know how to build all this stuff now. I'll be carrying on his torch. Okay. Um, if you had a magic wand about anything you wanted for BMX bikes in Toronto, what would it be? Indoor location. We need an indoor location. Our ramps don't last out in the, uh, in the rain. There's no place for them in the wintertime. We need a little rec center, a warehouse. It doesn't even have to have heat in it. As long as it's got a roof over it, we can put the ramps inside. Kids can ride all the time because we only have one pro in the entire city of Toronto. Four million people, we got one pro. Wow. That's awful. That's, that's very disappointing. I mean, it's great that we've got one pro. Yes, all support for Chris Silva, but man, this city should have scads of pros and it just isn't the support, yeah. uh, there isn't the places, there isn't the time. Yeah, well, me being a police officer, I was reading something the other day that said that Toronto is the number one leader in the world for cities for bicycle theft. What, what do you think of that? Well, I guess those guys are all riding those bikes somewhere they've taken and we don't see them, but uh, I think those bikes are probably getting transported somewhere where the kids are using them. Uh, you were not in Toronto. Well, you work with kids all the time with your bicycle project. How does a young person feel when they have their bicycle stolen in our city? Right. The bike is get all emotional about cars, but a car is a car, it's just metal and bolts and stuff. A bike is something that you learn to express who you are through what you do on that bike. It becomes a party. And the longer that you've owned that bike and the more you've done with it, the more it's you. It's somebody's just totally hurt it. Okay, how do you see a police officer like myself that specializes in crime stoppers helping to reduce bicycle theft in Toronto? I wish I had an answer for you on that one. Yeah. Um, just remind the kids that they've got to keep those bikes locked up, hang on to them. If they're going into a store, most people will let you, because your bike is so small, just take it in. Okay. Don't leave it outside. Don't ever leave it untouched. Okay. Don't even leave it unlocked at home. I know so many kids, they lock their bike to the back patio, somewhere out back, and somebody's gone around and stuck that light. Even okay. kryptonite locks, those guys can unyank okay. and somehow get them locked. Unbustable locks, they are able to bust open. Okay. You just got to look after that stuff. But well, Michael, I can tell you. I don't know. No. Just Help us out with the registration, maybe. That would be cool. Well, I'll give you my personal commitment, Michael, that I'm very interested in the A, bicycle safety, and B, uh, not having your bicycle stolen in the city. And I'll give you my personal commitment that I will try and help you and your kids to keep your bicycles safe. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate Thanks for that. talking to us today. No worries.